this discusses basic ideas of quadratic equations. What is a quadratic equation? How do we solve simple ones? A quadratic equation is any equation where power of the variables is 2. So anything of the form x square equals 7. Or we say x square minus 5x equals 11. We can have power 2 and power 1. We can have combination, we can have multiple variables. But usually as far as the cat is concerned, we will usually be doing quadratic equations in a single variable. Keep that in mind. Mostly we will have only one variable. How do we solve quadratic equations? This is based on the idea called as splitting the middle term. Right? We will deal with the idea, then we will later on go to why the idea works. And the idea behind why the idea works that is important. But the idea is like this, x square minus 7x plus 12 equal to 0. How do we solve this? Take this minus 7x, this number, split minus 7 into two parts. So I want to split minus 7 into two parts such that the product of the two parts is equal to 1, 1 into 12. So if you have an equation which is ax square plus bx plus c, you will have to split b into two parts such that product of the two parts is a into c. So 1 into 12 is 12, break minus 7 into two parts such that the two parts multiply to give us 12. So that is minus 3 into minus 4, x square minus 3x minus 4x plus 12 equal to 0. Now extract and factorize this in parts. So x take out x from here, x into x minus 3, take out minus 4 from here, minus 4 into x minus 3. So x minus 3 into x minus 4 is 0 or x is 3 or 4. Product of two terms is 0, one of them has to be 0. This is 0, x is 3. This is 0, x is 4. A very simple method, but get lots and lots and lots of practice for this. This is going to lay the groundwork for a lot of questions. We are going to solve a lot of questions across topics using quadratic equations. So the idea of splitting the middle term and getting to the answer, that is very vital. Very, very, very critical. Right. Let's, let's get some practice on this. x square minus 11x plus 28 equal to 0. But to split minus 11 to get 28. Remember, we have to split minus 11, we get a positive product, so both terms should be negative. So we are looking at minus 10 and minus 1, minus 9 and minus 2, minus 8 and minus 3, minus 7 and minus 4, something like that. As it turns out, minus 7 and minus 4 works. So split as minus 7, minus 4. So x minus 7 into x minus 4 equal to 0. That is how we will factorize this equation. The next one, 3x square minus 14x plus 15 equal to 0. We have to split minus 14 to get a product of 45. Remember the product is not 15, product should be 45 and we are splitting minus 14. Product is positive, so we should have either both positive or both negative. So minus 14, both should be negative. We split this as minus 9 and minus 5. I don't know what I'm going to just quote directly to the answer. x square minus 11x minus 42 equal to 0. Product is negative. We should have one positive, one negative. So we have to get minus 11 as a positive term plus a negative term. The negative term should be larger. This is minus 11. How do we get this? Minus 14 and plus 3. Minus 14 into plus 3 is minus 42. x square plus 7x minus 30. Again, the product is negative should have one positive and one negative. The difference should be 7 because you are having one positive and one negative adding up to adding up to 7. So this should be done as plus 10 and minus 3. 10 minus 3 is 7. Plus 10 into minus 3 is minus 30. x square minus 6x minus 72. Product is negative, one positive, one negative adding up to minus 6. This breaks as minus 12 and plus 6 x square minus 14x plus 49 equal to 0. Product is positive. Both terms should be negative. Minus 7, minus 7. This is nothing but x minus 7, the whole square. And splitting the middle term is a very important skill set. Make sure you have plenty of practice for that. After you split the middle term, you should be able to factorize the expression and get the answer. Right? That is the next step. That, but that is far simpler. You have to take an example of any one of these expressions. After we split the middle term, this one is the toughest. So I'm going to do this one separately. 
So I'm going to put it as 3x square minus 9x minus 5x plus 15 equal to 0. So extract 3x from this, 3x into x minus 3, extract minus 5 from this, minus 5 into x minus 3 equals 0. So we have 3x minus 5 into x minus 3 equals 0 or either x equal to 3 or x equals 5 by 3. And once you extract, we just split the two components, factorize it and then get to the final expression. Fine, simple enough. How do we do questions that cannot be factorized? We'll come to that later. Keep one thing in mind. Most of the questions will involve splitting the middle term. Don't rush into the formal like method which is time consuming. It gives you some room for error. Fine. There are some ways of finding out from the answer choices whether we can split the middle term or not. We'll get to all of that. But most questions will involve splitting the middle term. So don't rush into the minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac, that, 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 whole shebang. Forget about that, split the middle term, get plenty of practice with that.